Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Security is not a product, but a process. Quoted by Bruce Schneier. I do want to point out that there have been countless times where in a project, security is an afterthought. Well, there are permission sets, but if you stick around, we'll go ahead and extend the permission set and take a look at security filters and how you can have record level security. All right, everybody. So I'm going to give you a scenario of where the security filter will come into play. So let's say, for example, you have a uh, someone in the accounting department that typically access GL records and so forth. And maybe you want to limit them to only view certain chart of accounts. And you can do this to other to other users as well, based upon what you want to limit on their record uh, level security. So for example, if I'm in this user right now, David So as a user, I'm logging in and I navigate to chart of accounts. As you can see, I could see everything uh, uh, or David can see everything. You may want to limit that and maybe only show them certain chart of accounts in the chart of account list. So it's very simple um, in how to accomplish this. First things first, what we're going to do is navigate to uh, uh, to Business Central for the admin side. So you, as an administrator, you have this capability, create a, a unique permission set. So what I'm going to do is navigate to permission sets. Now you do have to create your own permission set because you can't customize the ones that are out of the box of the system. So you need a user defined permission set. Uh, there are different ways to accomplish this. One way is to create or copy uh, an existing permission set, or you can create one from scratch. Now, just to just for the demo purpose, I'm going to go ahead and just take a look at the an existing permission set that I've already created. In this case, customer custom view only. So I'm going to navigate to this one, take a look at the uh, permission sets. All right. So looking from here, you see everything is read only, right? So anything with the customer, the transaction, the customer bank account. So these are very specific to customer, um, but I may not need for all of this information. But if you're creating a permission set in in the scenario is we want to limit the visibility of a particular set of records, in this case, the GL account. Um, so what I want to do is limit what shows up for David when he navigates to the chart of accounts. So looking at the GL account table here, this row, I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the right. I'm going to go ahead and just hide this one here so you get a little bit more. You will see that there is a security filter column. Now I've already done this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, you know, pick up where I left off. And let me go ahead and just delete this for, for a second so we can build one from scratch. So the first thing you need to populate is the field number. So if I drill down into here, it's going to give me all the fields for that table, which is the GL account. So you have all these options you can use to limit. You can either use maybe the tax area code. Uh, maybe they only need to see tax area code by a particular state or whatever. Uh, tax liable, credit, a debit amount. In this case, I want to limit the actual record itself. So in this case, it would be number. So I'm going to hit OK here. And you'll see that's going to populate the field caption. In the field filter, it would be the same way as you would filter in any list view. So in this case, if I want to limit, maybe if I go back to his chart of accounts. So if I go to chart of accounts. Maybe I want to limit only in the assets. So I don't want, um, uh, I want David to only see the assets um, GL account. So basically it's a range between one, uh, 10,001 all the way to 10,950. Now you may have some records in between there, so you may want to set your records properly. So they, you may want to give them ability to see the asset total as well. All right, so what I'm going to do is head back to my 
uh, table filter or field security filter. And I'm going to give it a range. I'm going to say 10,001 dot dot, like a range. Um, again, it's the same thing as you would do in any filter view or filter list. Um, and from 10,000, mm, actually, no, not 10,000, not 10,950. I want them to see 10,990. Okay, 10,990. So this here is going to um, filter only these records, uh, only these GL accounts based upon the field that I chose. So I'm going to hit close here. And as you can see from this view, it's a filter GL account number 10,001 to 10,990. All right. <clears throat> so once I've built this, I can go ahead and assign this to David. So I'm just going to go ahead and back out of here. Navigate to users. <clears throat> users. And navigate to David. So. And I can go ahead and add this all the way to the bottom. David. And, and, and uh, assign that permission. Now you could, <clears throat> generally you could create a user group so that when you do have other people in your organization that only needs to limit that view, that the record level view, you can just assign them to the group and it'll just populate um, all the permission sets you need. But in this case, I've already, I've only created a permission set, a single one, but that is one way to do it. And now I'm going to remove this one because I don't want him to see everything. I just want uh, David to see only a list of that GL account. So once I've assigned that, I can go back to David and I have to refresh the page. And if I navigate to chart of accounts, you'll notice that now David can only see 10,001 all the way to 10,990. So it is very helpful to utilize the security filters so that you can have record level security. Um, very helpful if you want to limit visibility of customers based upon the state, uh, maybe based upon uh, only set of customers that they're responsible for. That way they can, you can have better uh, record integrity and you're just giving a set of records that they're responsible for. So I hope that you find this short video helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, comment, or whatnot. And I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone who's been tuning into my YouTube channel. Thank you, everybody, and take care.